Hey everyone, are you looking for an easy way to send bulk emails to your customers through Autotask? If that is of interest to you, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, Chris Tim here from Sandella Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about the bulk email system in Autotask. I'm going to show you how you would go ahead and create emails to your customers uh, using templates that you can set up. Um, and you can send these on bulk. So very similar to something that you would have with, you know, MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or one of these kinds of um, applications. So let's go and have a look at how this works. So the very first thing we want to do in Autotask, we want to go under the users and we want to enable a particular user to be able to send bulk emails. So from the admin, we click on resources and users, find the username that we're interested in, and click on the edit button. And then under the security tab, you need to make sure that you select this box here that says allow users to send bulk emails. And that's it, save and close. That user will now have the ability to send bulk emails. Bulk emails in order task, is something that is called contact groups. So here under the CRM module, so if we hover on CRM, you can see it says notify your contacts. And then here we have contact groups, action templates, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and actually create a template that we can send to our customer. So let's say hypothetically, we're gonna have um, you know, a, an outage with BT or one of the telecoms providers. So I am in the UK, BT is British Telecom, um, but obviously you can call these whatever you want. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna rename this one or just call it again, you know, BT1, for example. And what you'll see now is this will allow me to create um, the action template. So here I can come into the email and I can just simply type BT outage. And then I can do something along the lines of, oops, um, whatever. And I can simply type this email and then go ahead and save that. Now this would be the email then that I would send to um, a bunch of customers on bulk. However, there are a bunch of templates already on the system and I like to use those ones very often. So for example, if you look at the event template one and you simply view the template itself, you will see that it's got this kind of nice looking, um, you know, nicely formatted email which might be a lot nicer and a lot easier to send to your customers. So all you simply wanna do is you wanna copy the HTML code. So click on the HTML tab. And then from here, just hover over or copy down the, all the HTML code. And then what we can do is if we go back to our um, BT1 and we simply view this action template. So here was the words I added earlier on. I can just come into the HTML template, override it, and now what I can do is, you know, here where it says event name, I can just say whatever I want to call it. Okay, so, you know, it gives you the ability to really make this look a lot nicer. So I'm going to save this template now. Let me just save and close that. Okay, so now we have our template ready to go. What we can do now is under the CRM, if we click on contact groups, this is now going to allow us to select a group of customers that we want to uh, what, that we want to send that template to. So let's create a new group here, and maybe we're going to call this, um, you know, let's call this BT Outage Two, or this could say, you know, Christmas Opening Hours, whatever you want to call it. But in this case, we're just going to call this BT Outage Two. So what you can see at this point is you now have the ability to go in and add to the group. So you can go ahead and if you simply click on add to group, this will just bring up a list of all of your customers and contacts. Um, and you can just select the customers and contacts that you wanna add to this group. The other thing you can do from here, if you click on this column chooser, if you have any user defined fields, you can actually use these user defined fields um, from here as well. So. What you could do is I created a user defined field called account telecoms provider. Um, and then simply all I'm gonna do is, um, if I 
select that column chooser, I can now come in here and select everyone that has BT entered into uh, in, into that telecoms provider um, uh, user defined field. So here you can see I just at this point, I have one customer where I've actually selected this user defined field as um, as BT. So I'm going to go ahead and select this guy. And then what I can simply do is click on add selected to group. And this has now added this one particular contact. It's added them to um, to the group. And you can see the window behind there. So actually what you now have to do um, is if you click on close at this point, you can now see that this contact has been added to this BT outage to group. What you could have done at this point, I just clicked on um, add to group, but you can actually use these advanced filters as well. So what I could have done in here is simply click this little funnel and the same approach would have been just going into user defined fields and then telecoms provider, I could have selected, you know, where the telecoms provider is equal to BT, click apply filter, it would have found the same company, I'm not going to do that now, but it would have found the same company and I could have just selected it from there. So the nice thing about this filter button, you can choose whatever you want. So if you wanted to say, hey, you know, I only want to send this BT outage to, um, you know, people in a particular postal code or in a particular city. So, you know, maybe you want to send it to them, you know, only your customers who are based in London. You could simply do that. And when you click apply filter, this will go ahead and find anybody that is in London. I don't have anyone in London. Um, but that would they would have then just brought in here an entire list of who all of those people are. Okay, but what I'm going to do now anyway is if I clear this down, and here you can see again we have this guy from Karen Properties. So now because I had that template, I have the ability here to go in and um, and send an email. So I can go and select this guy, and I can just say send email to selected. So one of the really cool things at this point is I now have the ability to come in here and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this um, using the template to that particular person in my list. So here under the open template, I can simply select the template that I want. And in this case, I think the template we had was called BT1. And you'll see it now brings that template in that we created earlier on. And now I can choose when I actually send this email. So I can go ahead and send it now after whatever date, um, you know, whatever time. Um, I can choose whether I send a copy to myself as well. Um, and then um, what I can then do is also choose how I'm actually sending this email. So maybe I want to send it from my help desk or I want to send it from, you know, my, my normal email account. Um, however you want to send this, um, you, you can go ahead and do that. At the same time, it also gives you the ability to create a to-do. So what I would often do at this point is come into here and say, you know, let's add a quick note to the system and say, um, you know, something like, you know, follow up with um, customer to see if they have received the email. Okay, so we might want to, you know, maybe next week sometime, we may want to come in here and say, you know, um, we're going to have this BT outage. We want to go ahead and say, hey, guys, did you get our email, blah, blah, blah. So you might want to create a to-do for somebody um, on the system as well. I'm going to turn that off, um, but the ability is there for you to be able to do that. Okay, and then all you simply do is click execute. And what this will do is it goes ahead and says it's now going to send one email and then it's scheduled to be sent on this date and time. Do you wish to continue? So I say yes. And what this is now doing is it's now saying, um, you know, sent or queued one email, blah, 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 um, and that's it. So if I close this down and I close this window down, what I can now do is by going into CRM, I can look at the email history, and this will tell me, you know, who the email was sent to and on what date it was sent. So I can see there was one email attempted, one email sent. And if I click on that, it'll actually tell me who it sent the email to. Now, one of the things that the bulk email uh, system or the contact group manager doesn't do, doesn't do uh, click-throughs or, or any of those sort of things, it simply just sends the email to the customer and it tells you in here that the email has been sent. But there's, there's no way to track click-throughs or anything like that. 
One thing it does do though, however, is it does actually put an unsubscribe link on the bottom of that email. So if your customer then goes ahead and unsubscribes to that email, then um, then obviously next time you do this, it will not send anything to that customer. So just bear that in mind that they can unsubscribe to it. Um, and right in the beginning when we actually set up that user account, there was a terms and conditions in there. And that basically said exactly that, that you know, it, by default, it will put in the unsubscribe link and you have to give that ability to your customers to do that. And that's really it. So I really hope that uh, you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, it really does help me to uh, to create new videos. Um, you know, and if you enjoy it, then it would be really good if you could head over to buy me a coffee, um, uh, you, you know, pay a small fee and hopefully um, I can continue to make more of these videos for you. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.